Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. I'm Kamchak Fisco. Come join me for the nightmare. <sighs> I need to go get another fucking bottle. Not that... Give me the bottle. Don't dispense another one. Because, <laughs> I mean, even the most... Um, well-known reviewers are going to have different opinions than the rest of us, so it's it's never an across-the-board opinion. All right, now we can do this. All right. Hey, boys. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we walk around confidently. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, don't get me started on video game journalism. <laughs> Honestly, I'll prefer my friends' reviews or a YouTuber's reviews over professional journalism anymore these days. Wait, is this a... Okay, I can't go through that. Well, I'm guessing the door is locked. No, but it doesn't matter anywhere. We're going through the fence. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Well, not really sneaky, because, I mean, let's be honest. Are you sneaking in high-heeled stiletto shoot? No, you're not. I don't... There's no way you're going to quiet that shit. Let's be honest. One of who? I'm confused! Darn, I thought it would work. We have a melee strike. I guess all we can do is kick them away from us so we can run away? I'm guessing that's the limit of our self-defense capabilities. Well, it's also the fact that, I mean, let's be honest. The reason why... Um, I'm going to bring up a controversial thing. We're not going to dive into that. But the reason why Gamergate was so controversial is, yes, it showed the rampant sexism with gamers. It also showed the corruption in games journalism. That corruption didn't go away. They're still beholden to the people funding them. Period. That I mean, they are. That's, that's literally their MO. That did not change after that. It uh, It's something that went both ways. And I... Um, Huh? Do I need to... Oh! The mark. It's incomplete. Okay, that makes far more sense. But how do I... I need to... Oh, I see. I see. I see. I got it. I got it. I got you. Come on. There we go. I just had to get the right distance. Like all issues, it's shit that cuts both ways. And then with journalism, it's, I mean, their company's being funded. They're being told to write certain reviews that appeal to some and not to others because that's what their sponsors say to do. And it's just, I mean... The air feels so heavy in here. It's it's not so much magic. We're literally in a uh, kind of a group nightmare where reality doesn't exist. We're just in this this mind fabrication. So if you can imagine it, it pretty much happens. There's one psychopath in charge of it, but we're all contributing to it. So there is no tangibility to reality, so to speak. So yeah, I, I could absolutely see something looking ridiculously magical being the case. I couldn't interact with the radio. I... What? Am I missing something? Uh... What now? Can I... I can't break the glass. Oh, no, 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 no. No, um no point at the game even in the original I don't think 
was it ever actually reality? I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Just from the way it ended, it implied that. So I think she basically drugged her partners and dragged them into this whole thing to find Leslie because he was in a group delusion. Okay, what am I doing in here? I can't interact with the... Oh! I was pointing the flashlight up. I needed to make a desk exist. After months of secret subterfuge and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. <laughs> Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. Oh, Doc, you have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I will say this, that's Roll. Overall, Evil Within 1 is worth playing. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We're expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that. And I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit. And we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis, and there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. The whole white effect made him look like frickin' Slenderman. That being said, um... Bear in mind, there are two things about this game that are unbelievably frustrating that you have to be able to accept to be able to enjoy the game. The first, the stupid-ass stamina. You will have to XP sponge into that skill to make it tolerable. The second, the enemy has iframes. You do not. It will be exploited against you. If you can get past those two, it's actually a really fun game. The ending is, storyline-wise, the ending is great. Mechanics-wise, the ending kind of stops being survival horror and goes on this bizarre action kick that does not fit the motif of the game. But overall, it is a good game. And the DLC do a lot to rectify the ending, so to speak. Okay, that's just cover. There's no doors or anything. All right. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize he was sitting there. Well, hi, Rubik. Ruben, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. Uh, basically, you just learn to only run when you need to dodge. Once you get that down, the stamina doesn't really bother you. Because any sprint sequence you need, you'll have unlimited stamina for. Which also doesn't make any sense that it's now somehow unlimited, but... It, 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 you're also in an inconsistent non-reality, so... Align your eyes to the dots, everybody. Hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts, a mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. Pretty much, Light Demon. That would be my logic. That it's video. like, I'm sorry. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. When your life is on the line, 
Adrenaline gives you unbelievable stamina. <laughs> Yeah, personally, I, I always refer to Rubik as, oh, yeah, you're, you're cheating and pulling that vampire celerity bullshit where you can just accelerate time for yourself. So, no, cheating asshole. Okay, so I saw the video. That didn't give me anything, though. There's no key card here. Is that just going to magically unlock a door out here? Oh, that, yeah, okay. It did. I'm sure part of the excuse they use, well, I know part of the excuse they use is the fact that he's a smoker and the fact that he's a heavy drinker, but A, this isn't reality, and B, I think that's why they're exploiting it, because it's not reality, so we can make him this way. It's like, that's still kind of a cop-out game mechanic. Okay, so we found the flux capacitor. Oh, no, that's the chamber pod, too. Hey, for a while, for a second, it looked like the flux capacitor, all right? <laughs> and here's that from a side view. So this isn't so much her remembering it as it is Ruvik prying this from her mind. Why was me stepping in glass sounding like dripping? That's not the... Okay. Well, I just scared the hell out of me. My light just fell off the ceiling. <laughs> I'm going to have to hear that a little better. That, that's, that's not going to work. Uh, basically, we're in a reality where a certain frequency of light the creatures can use to unlock aspects of reality... Uh, that Ruvik is hiding from us and for whatever stupid reason we magically found a flashlight. So it just happens to be perfectly aligned to do the same thing. This Don't question it. It's, it. it's a this plot is hook. exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. And in that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual <laughs> perhaps it is better that i continue to be the one to contact in this situation i'd like you to bring this man in we should all be able to have a productive conversation what did you say his name was and that's why he brought ruben. the man in ruben Victoriana. he was forced to he was forced to I mean, Death Troll, unfortunately, as stupid as it is, at the end of the day, it always comes down to, well, why did that happen? Because video games. Oh, fuck. I can't hide there. She's loose. I can't hide under the beds anymore? Oh, I was going to say. No, that's not hiding under the... God damn it. Uh... Basically, Light Demon, ba basically, that, that, that sums it up beautifully. Um, is this thing gone? So it kicked the door open, scared the hell out of me, and then just left. It, w okay. Here I was expecting some drawn-out stealth sequence, get past the monster, but no. Just kick the door open, scare the shit out of you, and then poof, gone. <laughs> sure. Why not? I do like the fact that I can right-click to amplify the light and look around and immediately let go and the light's off. I don't have to turn the light on and off for that. Wait, is this an actual door? Do oh, I can't access it from this side, apparently. Oh, never mind. The door is magically behind impenetrable plastic. Well, I mean, sometimes you just have to scare the hell out of people. I get it. Death Troll certainly gets it. I know Light Demon gets it. What my... Oh my god! Unlock the door, lady! <laughs> uh, there was... We weren't being chased. That seemed a little overly dramatic for a simple door. It, okay. 
Authorized personnel only. Well, shit. Now we got to go back home. Damn it. <laughs> Checkpoint. I haven't been feeling well, but look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? I don't remember a scene where we walked through like... What? She must be seeing an abstract version of them in her version of reality. Whereas the way we saw her integrate with ours was different. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense by how they explain the realities. I don't know, I guess I was expecting more overlapping consistency. It, I mean, it makes sense, but I, for, you know, you think logically about something that's not logical. Duh. Biometrics. Are we going to find really cool guns that require our handprint to work? Oh, good, I can save my game. So apparently if you sit on the couch for a little bit, sometimes shit happens in the background. Only this time there's nothing to see behind us, so it doesn't really matter. Hi, kitty. I'm, there's nothing to see, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'll see you at the next save point. You, you, you have a happy little furry life. Can I... Wait, this has obviously got to be the way forward. That's the save game. So, does the elevator just not work? Or is it going to pull the hole? You're not authorized. You're not in the file. Agent Stacks. Ah, that's why. Please contact Biometrics for reauthentication. Makes sense. Makes sense. I just kind of skipped the part where we're just like, oh, can't go through the door. Move ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I prefer to know which way I can't go to go forward so I can go that way and explore to my little heart's content. I'm totally not a loot whore that has to search every single corner. It doesn't drive me insane when I have miss something. But you have to stay focused. It will take you a while to get your bearings. But you'll be better off than the others. And about the others. I told you before. Completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, you know what to do. Dun 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 Exactly, that's roll. Loot. And bring him back. That's all that matters. I proudly wear the title Loot Whore. Well, I'm guessing we gotta hack doors because we can't exactly open them. The hell did we just print off? Please guide subject to construct facial, hand, and neural profile. Say what now? I don't now? think anyone's gonna help me out with this. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure you're on your own. Because, um, yeah, reality kind of fell out the window. So I had to take a turn to the left and burst into flames and go tumbling down the hill. You know, the usual. I'm guessing that's just to hide from the monster when it gets here because it looks like it just kind of curves around. This doesn't scream dead end trap at all. Will you stop making that kind of noise? It's shoes, man. Oh, yeah, see, it's... I, I don't know why it works for Light Demon, but it's not working for you. Facial wow. Constructed. Matches deactivated account Julie Kidman. Reinstating profile. Oh, okay, so it, it is actually flagged that way, so you guys can't abuse it. Wait, Death Troll, had you not been following me? I could have sworn you followed me the other night. Well, no, no, Light Demon, I know you were new, but yeah, Death Troll had been following me, so I don't know how the hell he was able to do it. He shouldn't have been able to. That's really weird. Maybe it's like once per stream? I have no idea. I, I have no clue what the condition is. 
Okay, seriously, I gotta figure this out because this is this is gonna get me killed if I don't know this. Stop with the flat butt. I don't want to. Okay, okay. Tap F to peek. Because if you hold it down, you just climb the hell out. Yeah, let's let's at least see if it's like once a stream or what the condition is. It's really it's really weird. Oh, that's open. I thought that was closed for some reason. I don't think we're going to get across here. The panel's kind of... Yeah. Well, I... Did you? There's your jump scare. God damn it. I, I saw the particles and shit, and I thought that was spots on the glass. That's why I thought it was still closed. Because, you know, I wasn't paying attention when it actually opened. <laughs> I, I pick, like, the worst times to look at chat. I swear I do. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to, like, trigger all of them just so I can stomp on them. Just get the fucking hell! Uh, um... Are we good? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the thing with the terminal and stay in there. Just, just, no. Oh, hell, what are you? Scanning. Please stay still until procedure is complete. Right. Uh, can we move the panel or something? Thing. Please complete neural profile to complete authorization. I'm gonna assume that the vents are no longer safe, because that's where they fucking came from. Hello? D -d -d shit. I kind of want to go to the left vent and see where the hell it goes, but... I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. Fuck. Yep. Can I... Over here. Will that lure it over here? Oh, God. Oh, God! That's not what I wanted to do. It was supposed to follow physics, not game logic. Uh, I actually have an artist working on them right now. Have you the brain it! Thank you for the bit, Light Demon. Stop that. What the? You've unlocked a new music track. Fancy, like I care? That was worth risking my life for, holy shit. <laughs> there's no bottles, there's no nothing. What, I, how am I supposed to? I have to go through the vent, that's the only way forward. I know, I... And I will do a completionist run at some point, but not on camera! Maybe it's... blind? They're blind? That's good to know. I was, I, I was literally, I was like, do I have to fucking shine the light in its face? What am I doing here? Graceful as a gazelle, kitten. They very much seem like that, yes. Uh, did Kidman get the hell back up? I... Yeah, I didn't think they were deaf, but I just didn't... Okay, this area's blocked off. Thank God. I, I, I wasn't sure. So I have to sneak past one to get a bottle to get past him. Oh God, we can get shockingly close. Can I climb over this? No, of course not. That'd be too easy.
Boop. Holy. I touched it. That was that. Wow. That was an explosion. Just. I got hugged so hard I explodified. Well, I mean, <laughs> there was no reason not to. I just hit a checkpoint. If I was going to find out how nasty they were, now is the time. I don't know if I can... Okay, I can't get to the bottles over here. I just can't reach them. He's in the way. But I might be able to skirt around this one. Yeah. God, that is so close. That is so close. Well, I'm not going to be able to get in there, but we can probably get over through here. Holy! That was close! That was insanely close! Holy shit! Oh, I get it. Okay. It's one of these. Damn it, it goes the other way. Alright, well, I know that now. Alright. Oh, okay, so this is... Yeah, alright. It's one of these. God. I... No, that's not how I want to do it. Uh... It's my take a bit, gang. I'm actually going to put a marker in my YouTube file so I can actually... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I flagged the... I, I put a flag in a file to let me know, hey, this sequence might take me a while, speed it up. Boom, sold it immediately. Like, you... Went, I... God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was that was a lot faster than I was expecting. I thought that would take a lot longer. All right, so we have a bottle, and undoubtedly I'm going to have to use this to get to the other two, because I'm sure we're going to need them. Hi, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you here. I'm going to go. I'm going to be over here. I could use this to lure him away to immediately get through, but why are there two over here? That's what I wanted to know. Why why is such the big deal to have the two over here? Cause we can't get past him to get over there. Is there like a Is there a thing back behind this that we can get maybe? Now I'm like all curious and shit. Internet, why? Why you do this to me? Stop dropping frames. Stop it. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.